what's going on YouTube so we're back at the, uh, the Dodge Caravan uh, the one that we fixed the uh, crankshaft sensor the crankshaft position sensor and the wiring so now we got that problem sorted out uh, the next issue we have we're gonna go underneath the car it's gonna be the leak coolant leak and it's due so Let's see if I can get you a good shot. The freeze plug is leaking. Alright, so let me let you in on the show there. Alright, so as you can see, it's completely right out. Right there. Right there. So that's the leak we're having. We're gonna go in there find some type of way to pluck it out without no casualty clean the bore and replace it um, we're gonna replace it with the same kind that they have on the side if you look on the other uh, on the side of it that one is aftermarket one those are the ones that I have for the rubber side it's what, the one that has the rubber in, in the middle it's like a piece of rubber sandwich between two plates basically right there so on either side of that one those are already been replaced so um, that's what it is. Let me go ahead and try to do this and I'm gonna be right back when it's done. All right, so, so far we've managed to kind of move it. As you can see in the middle of the screen there, it's cocked and all of the water, it was like really rusty water and blackish or whatever kind of came out. So let me see if I can pop it out. A long pry bar there, and I put it there, put it right behind it. I'm gonna pop it out right there. Look at it, it's almost there. There you go. Uh, put it in my hand. There you go. Right there, rotten boy. Look at it. Big old hole in it. Let's see if we can give you a closer shot there. What it looks like now. Yeah, that looks bad right there. Wow. Woo! Yep, that's gonna be a lot of cleaning to do. Be right back, guys. So. I had to take off that bolt, that's a 15 millimeter bolt for the bracket, you know, that um, coolant pipe there, it's in, it's in my way. I could have installed a new one without taking it out, but to clean it properly, I have to take it out just to make sure I do a thorough job. Very important, okay? Don't cut corners. So now, I used my, um, basically this type of brush for brake jobs, you know, bristle brush right there initially right just to kind of get some of the rough stuff out of there then now i got my what is it um 80 grit sandpaper uh that's one i have you can use whatever you want but you know just not to dig into uh the metal but just basically make sure it's smooth when you're done so that's all this matters so right now i got a lot of uh stuff there i'm trying to one-hand it just show you what to do because i I know I hate it when people don't show how they clean stuff, so that's why I'm showing this part. But it's not easy. As you see, I'm gonna contort in all kinds of ways, just kinda show you some type of visual there, but it's not easy. So that's the basic, that's the idea, you get it. You know? Until it becomes smooth all the way around, wipe it down. If you want to use a slight bit of silicone paste around, uh, the new one, I don't think there's something wrong with that because it's rubber. So that's what it is. I'm going to continue doing this, make sure it's completely clean and, and smooth, and then we'll come back. All right. Okay, so I got it clean as best as I could. It's smooth now. All the way around, I can feel it with my finger. I don't fit any type of, uh, if I can put my finger there. Yeah, smooth all the way around. Definitely. So now we're gonna 
output, there's no part in, right? So, right there, you should just go in right without any type of static. There you go, all the way bottom down. So now I'm gonna put my socket on it. I think it's a, what is it? Let me get my, what I'm getting here, 12. Yeah, 12 millimeter, 13 millimeter, something like that. Okay, I don't have much room there, so I'm gonna push this one back out. Just like that, trying to see if I can put this, there you go. As you tighten it up, it's gonna expand. I don't know the torque spec on it, but I'm just gonna proceed until I got enough threads coming out just like the other one that I see on the side there. You see that one? Look at the threads on this one right here. I'm gonna to try to match that because honestly, I don't have the torque specs for it. So that one seems like to be holding properly. So if I get it to that level, I think I'm good. You let me know if that makes sense, that rationale. Not there yet. Definitely not like the other two. So, but it's getting tight though on this quarter inch. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that. Yeah, it's getting really tight. Unless this is really in a 20 something foot pound, because it's, yeah, it's getting tight on a quarter inch right now. Oof, I can barely turn it. <clears throat> Tight man. Ooh, wee. That's good enough. I think it's good enough. That's real tight. Let's look at the other ones. Can you see that one? Right, let's see. How is that? See how it's protruding a little bit there? See mine? Just about the same. The other one is like, it looks like it's overdone. It's over torqued. Because, unless it's not the same brand, I don't know. But, as far as I'm concerned, this is this is mighty tight now. Honestly, let me just double check. Really, I'm putting a lot of weight on this quarter inch. Let me keep going a little bit more just to sleep at night. <laughs> a little bit more, just so we can sleep at night. I don't want to come do this job again. Oh boy. Mm. Man, this is tight. This is tight. I think it's sealed up properly. So that's what it is. Now, before I go ahead and, uh, by the way, this, I had to kind of bend it backwards, right? Out of my way, so I'm gonna have to bend it back the way it was before. And even if you don't, this is not consequential at all. You know, this is solid the way it is. You know, I'm just saying, <laughs> don't worry about this. All right, let me go and, um, you know, try to fill it up with some water and then we'll see what we get. I yeah, just got through filling up with water. So far, no drippy drip, nothing out there. So, let's get out here and see what we got. Oh yeah, that's dry, my brother. All right, let's go start the car, let it get it up to temperature and then see what we see. Alright, we're almost at operating temperature. It's definitely blowing hot because I had it, you know, on the, on the heat side just to kind of bleed the system there, make sure it go through the heat of core. So right now we got hot, hot, hot air coming out of here. Okay? Look at the temperature gauge right there, sitting right there, very happy. So we're gonna go underneath the car. So the thermostat is definitely open. I just had to put some more water back in there, but look at how that water looks like. All rested, but hey, listen, the car is still drivable. Never mind that that's coming from uh, the radiator. We're not, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Never mind that side there, that's nothing. We're dealing with this one here. And so far, look at that. Dry. Let me see. That's it. All right, so look at that. Yeah, as I was about to go home, I looked underneath and I see some water dripping. Golly, what is that? A comeback already? <laughs> no, it's not. Actually, 
this time it's not coming from what we fixed it's coming from the front of it so there's also you have uh, you have plugs in the front as you see right one of them is right there so right behind the starter motor as you can see you see all the rust there all of that rust so that's water coming from there so there's definitely uh, another freeze plug that's gonna be behind the starter and it's leaking from there. As you can notice, that one is, has, has been replaced already. Uh, there's another one I saw also behind, right there, it has been replaced. So there's one that's leaking behind the starter motor. So um, this, I didn't notice it the first time because the, I guess the other one was so large of a leak that this wouldn't even matter. But now that the car's been running for like half an hour, you know, fan cam on everything else, I guess the pressure now had to go somewhere and the weakest link was that one. So we're gonna have to also replace that one. It's gonna look like it looks like it's going to be a little bit more challenging. At least I have to remove, uh, at the very least, the um, um, the starter motor. So that's that. I'm going to talk to the customer, see what he wants to do. Uh, but this is definitely a separate job. Uh, like I said, this one wasn't wasn't something vis visible to me the first time I came because the leak was coming largely from the from the rear. I didn't see anything else, honestly. Um, but you know, this is something we're going to have to tackle now. So that's what it is. Yeah, man, so there you have it. It's driven from the front now. What is up, guys? Okay, so we're back at the uh, Dodge Caravan. This is the next day. So basically, that's what we have. This is the front of the engine. You can see the flywheel there where the, uh, the starter motor is going. Uh, starter motor, not a difficult job if you got the right tools. Um, So basically it sits this way in the car this bolt that goes on top is basically the one that's going to give you a little bit of problem if you don't have the right combination of of tools i use a deep socket it's a 15 millimeter with um, maybe a four inch ex extension and no, actually six inch extension and a wobbly socket or maybe a u-joint and that's what i use to be able to knock this one out of here uh, I don't know, you may try something else. Before that, you're gonna get to a, uh, uh, looks like a ground wire or so, so ground wire, 13 millimeter. But like I said, this is one that's gonna give you trouble. The, the next one is at the bottom, it's a piece of cake. So basically it, so once you get done with that, now this is what we got. So, yep. Same thing that we did yesterday. I'm not gonna film it, you know the procedure already. So we're just gonna knock it out. And then we'll verify our job and we'll come back and see what's going on. All right.